Hey guys, what's up? It's Malcolm Zunky, and welcome to episode 8 of the Boss Dropathon. So this one I am really excited about, and I believe that a ton of progress has been made in this episode. Not to mention, I got the most valuable item that I have had yet during the Boss Dropathon. So I'm really excited about that. I gotta say, the tab for the the full price check that you'll see at the end, as in every episode, has really increased a lot. And I've almost made all the money back that I lost at the beginning of this. And I, I'm actually feeling like I may make it all back by the end of the series, but we'll see. So you will see my Twitch chat pop up a couple times during this fight, Kill and Kill, because I was streaming this, so I do really apologize about that. There's not a whole lot I can do. Um, other than, I, I guess I could cut away the most of the boss fight, and then you wouldn't see my Twitch chat. But uh, we wouldn't want to do that, because I wanted to just showcase the final boss fight here as kind of proof that I've completed the fight killing, but if you watched the stream, uh, you would have known that yourself. But anyway, yeah, I did the whole fight kiln on stream, so I guess I showed a lot of people maybe a little few tips and tricks on how to complete the fight kiln. I actually did my first successful no food fight kiln, so even though I brought food with me, I didn't actually eat any of it. So that was pretty impressive, I think, for me personally, uh, a bit of an achievement. And uh, yeah, so basically what it means is I didn't just I just didn't screw up on any of the jads, and I usually screw up at least once. So that's usually what. Uh, goes for the consumption of food, but it didn't happen this time. So anyway, I got the Onyx. This was the first time I actually did a fight kill and got an Onyx. Previously, I'd always gotten a cape from the fight kill, just because I think the capes look cool, and it's cool to stock them up. But first Onyx, and they're about a... Th 3 mil drop right now, so that's not too bad. That uh, checks off the fight kiln boss as being completed for the series, which means we only have a couple bosses left. And yet again, this is another double episode, so I did another boss, completed another one, and uh, this one is the big one. I've been doing a lot of Rise of the Six recently as well, and as I said, it's the most valuable drop. The previous most valuable drop that I had had, I believe, was the Armadale Battle Staff. Um, but anyway... Or no, the Dragon Limbs was the most valuable one before this, but we definitely surpassed that um, with the drop that I got from Rise of the Six, so you'll see what that is pretty quick here. I just want to say a big thank you to both Piero and uh, OmniWan, to our friends on my friends list who are pretty good at ROTS, and they showed me how to do it, so they had a lot of patience with me, and I'm really a noob, and I, at first, definitely didn't know what I was doing, and I've gotten to the point now where I only kind of know what I'm doing at Rise of the Six, um, but I'm definitely, uh, I've, I've improved enough to not fail on kills most of the time, so I'm really proud of myself for doing that, and thank you a lot to them for taking me. Uh, so I've had a lot of fun, it's been an absolute blast, and I gotta say, Rise of the Six right now is the most fun boss for me to do personally. However, if Dragors go up again and Calfight King becomes worth doing, that might be a topic for debate. But as you can see, I got a malevolent kite shield there, and uh, we weren't doing splits because, uh, well, at the start of the kills that we are doing, they are like, yeah, if you get a drop, you keep it. So uh, they let me keep the malevolent kite shield, which again, thank you to them for doing that, and uh, 42 mil, so that's by far the most valuable valuable item we've had so far. I'm really excited about that and also I've made quite a bit of money off of the energies as well which you will also see at the end of this video where I do the price check. So of course as always here's the boss sheet. So as you can see there's only going to be two bosses left. I am officially releasing the ascension bosses from the series. If you don't remember at the beginning of the series I said the requirements for a boss to be on the series is for them to be two mil an hour or more profit and for me personally the ascension bosses were not profit so I don't feel bad about uh, just completely wiping them off the series and they have been replaced with Rise of the Six. So we only have two bosses left to do. Uh, Zami and Sarah I will be streaming quite a bit of those but we are going to end off with the grand finale. So I'm hoping to get Zami and Sarah done the next episode, and then the final episode, I guess you can all pretty much guess what it's going to be, but here's a small teaser of it. Me killing Virago with the Mall of Omens. So I did do a couple of Virago kills the other day, and I'm looking to get myself a wand. That would be an epic grand finale, so I really hope that that works out. And here we are in game for by far the most epic price check yet. So, as always, we got some new additions to the tab, and by this time, I think this is by far the most profitable episode I have yet. I will be including the Malevolent Energy during the price check as well, so this is all the Malevolent Energy that it took for me to get a Kite Shield. So, 24 Energies, and uh, I believe it was 19 kills, because I lost my Energies during one kill. I got two Energies, and I died, and I lost them, but oh well, that happens sometimes. So, um, unless we have some epic, epic item crash, the tab is going to be going up each week. Uh, I went down 2 mil from last week, all these items items, but that's okay. And then we add our uncut onyx, which is worth about 3 mil, our malevolent energy, so we got 8.7 mil in energies, and the malevolent kite shield, so we're up to 137 mil tab, so I'm really happy about that. So if I do end up getting a wand split, I will end up making all my money back, which I really hope happens. Uh, but anyway, best 
items so far by far malevolent kite shield also the most valuable drop i've ever had in game um, because even though i've had more valuable items i've had to split them before so this is the most profit i have personally ever made from a boss kill so that was really really cool to see again thanks to the guys for um you know taking me virago and teaching me how to do that i can't or i mean rise of the six and virago as well so i'm really excited to go back to rise of the six and uh, hopefully i'll be able to get into some virago teams as well um so we can finish off that boss but anyway Anyway, uh, for the time being, I got to work on Zami and Saradoman and get those done. So I will be streaming those for the most part. Of course, the Twitch link is down in the description. You can also follow me on Twitter if you want to know when I am streaming. And uh, it'll be a blast, I'm sure. Hopefully, uh, the stream luck will continue and uh, we will definitely get those Zami and Saradoman uh, drops pretty soon. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and farewell.